Isso. Okay. Uh, today we are going to learn the basics of uh, English grammar, uh, which will tell us more about how to easily speak English or uh, uh, write English. Both formally and informally. Okay, let's start with the present tense B form. So B to be in any situation, to be somewhere, to have the, the presence of being. Like the verb be has three forms, am, is, and are, which we have to use according to the pronoun or subject. Well, when we talk about, well, when we talk about yeah. using of am, is, are so we will use these to be forms of the present tense according to the pronoun or the subject what the subject tell us what the subject suggest or what the subject uh, say about pronoun so it can be used in such a way here the first uh, type of uh, using present tense B form is occupation. So in an occupation, for example, I being teacher, I would say I am a teacher. I am a teacher. So here the B, the B has the, the form of the B am is used as showing my I am as I am showing my profession. Like uh, Mr. Apple. We are teachers. So the, this is how to be form tell us about the occupation. Is as am, am, is, and are. Then is nouns. Using as nouns. Nouns are the naming words. So Being as सिराज भाई आपका कैमान है काइंड ऑफ कीजिएगा सॉरी अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम सलाम कैसे हो ठीक हो बिल्कुल ठीक ठाक फर्स्ट क्लास सर आप सुनाओ शुक्र है जी आप कैसे हो ठीक हो बिल्कुल ठीक ठाक मौसम का क्या हाल है ठीक है यार ठंड बहुत ज्यादा है अच्छा इधर तो नहीं है इतनी नहीं कल और परसों जो है बहुत ही ज्यादा ठंड थी आज तो गुजारा था सूरज धूप थी थी इसलिए आज गुजारा था लेकिन कल और परसों जो है बहुत ही ज्यादा वो थी ना ठंड थी सर स्नोफॉल हुई है आपका नहीं इधर नहीं हुई है इस दफा बिल्कुल बारिश है तो काफी अच्छा काफी हुई है कल अच्छा अच्छा मेरे ख्याल में मैम थोड़ा बिजी है चलो एग्जाम्पल Uh, as I, I told you about the occupations here, B can be used as noun. So she is a doctor. Here, this phrase tell us about the person being that is she, a girl or a lady. Fine. And here 
the noun is here a doctor they are students here student is used as noun we are friends here friends is used as a uh, noun so these examples will uh, explain it more easily then the use of we as adjectives to qualify something to qualify a noun we can use it as i have some examples uh, for this so uh, there is another example of that links the subject to with the noun that for example they we he for example the nouns are doctor student friend are this Uh, all these things for you as nouns. So if we qualify these, like she is a beautiful doctor. So here it the being is am are is used to qualify doctor body, which is used as noun and nouns quality. They are students. So here we can add adjective. they are good students so being form of a form you to and are qualified क्या मेम की आवाज पहुंच रही है नहीं सर हम सर हमें तो नजर मैं सुनाई नहीं दिया नो सर अच्छा एब्सोल्युटली नॉट एब्सोल्युटली नॉट पुलिस आ जाए अल्लाह के बंदे ना कहो वी आर नॉट क्रिम क्रिमिनल सर यहां पर क्रिमिनल और <coughs> सादिक और अमीन का फर्क कौन करेगा सिराज भाई वी आर लिविंग इन बनाना रिपब्लिक एंड आल्सो इन द एंटी डिविजन डिविजन इरा रिकॉर्डिंग इज ऑन प्रोग्रेस वी कैन डिस्कस दीस थिंग्स प्राइवेटली एंड पर्सनली ओके खास में पिशावर में तो सिग्नल का इतना इशू नहीं होता लेकिन शायद ये ओके प्रेजेंट टेंस बी इज यूज्ड फॉर प्लेसेस हाउ इट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर प्लेसेस इन द प्रेजेंट टेंस बी कैन बी यूज्ड टू इंडिकेट द लोकेशन और एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्लेस फॉर एग्जांपल द पार्क इज नियर बाय सो हियर park what is park park is the place and here it is used is is used as being for be present tense be so here the restaurant is crowded the library is closed the beach is beautiful so in these examples p is used to describe the state or condition of the places mentioned it indicates where something is located or provide an information about the place itself let me tell you something more about this uh, okay this state of uh, b in present tense next slide Just a minute, ma'am. What happened to it? Yes. Uh, the next one is, I think, the affirmative sentences. No. Affirmative. I'm going to second. No. Uh, this no. one. Affirmative sentences. Okay. So, so, okay. Affirmative sentences. Uh, so, is there any say uh, slide before this? Affirmative. Let me check. No. Was it tense? then affirmative negative okay okay okay, okay. affirmative 
okay sir thank you so the in a form is a formative sentences mostly we can call it positive sentences sentences which are in positive sense fine uh, they can be simple statement as well okay like for example the sentences in affirmative sentences are to she it all are as subject in the affirmative sentences and what is the verb form of all for all these uh, subjects for i we use am for you use are for use is she is it for we use are and they we use except of i you you can be plural so you can singular okay so for i and you Excuse. Okay. Excuse. Uh, I would like to add something that M is only specific for I, whereas is is used only for singular subjects and R are used only for plural subjects. Am I right? Yes, I, very right. You are right because I I was uh, going toward uh, towards that. I was just about to indicate this thing that except of I and you. You can be singular and plural both. Except of I and you, uh, others plural uh, for plurals we use are. Because for you also we use are because uh, you in a singular form you is the same you and in plural form you is the same you. Sir, okay? ma'am, you so you, here you is only used uh, with plural nouns and uh, I think plural subjects, eh? R is used we used with plural, and is is used with uh, singular. I'm talking about and you. you I'm talking about you. Yes, the you may be one or you may be two or you may be three. For example, uh, in the class when I'm uh, standing in the class and I suddenly say that I am talking to you. For that, I can use you students. I can. I am talking to you, you people. Your people. I am talking yes. to you boys. I am talking to you. Yes. Oh. I am talking to you boys. I am talking to you girls. So this is uh, here. We add uh, these uh, things with you. Uh, Ma'am, okay. uh, we use you both for singular. मतलब we use uh, uh, with you uh, are uh, with singular and plural. Uh. मतलब वो हेल्पिंग वर्ब जो है वो हम फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर यू आर बॉय यू यू आर मतलब यू आर बॉयज तो हम जो है ना वो यू आर इस्तेमाल करते हैं हेल्पिंग वर्ब दोनों के साथ अगर सब्जेक्ट सिंगुलर हो और प्लूरल भी हो यस यस ट्रूली ये व्हिच आई मेंशन ओके यू इज यूज्ड एज प्लूरल एज वेल एज सिंगुलर एंड आर इज यूज्ड विद you fine okay. and uh, okay whether it's singular or plural as uh, here are some examples out of these uh, uh, words uh, the subject and the uh, uh, sir i was uh, on the previous yes examples are i am a teacher you are a student he is the he is in the lab she is my sister it is a city we are friends they are doctors so here the subject and the verb form both are used okay then comes negative sentences affirmative verb positive sentences now here comes negative sentences negative sentences to negate anything to use of not in any sentence you can make negative sentences similar to the sentences before as you uh, uh, read about the affirmative sentences you can turn the, those sentences into negative by using the only difference is to add not after am is are after am is are 
we are going to use not and change the sentences into negative. As you can see in the following chart, she is not sad as it is uh, obvious that she's smiling. So that is not the, sad, obviously. Words, we add not after auxiliary verbs in negative sentences. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Totally right. Okay. Okay. They are not in the school. They are not in the school. Where are they? They are in the playground. They are not in the school. So uh, here we have turned simple sentences into negative sentences. Ma'am, if we talk about compound sentences, if we put not yeah. after auxiliary, then we have mm -hmm. to add neither, I think. Instead of not, uh, can you repeat, please? I'm asking about compound sentences and uh, complex compound sentences. Whether sure. if we uh, uh, are talking about any negative sentence, we put not after uh, we mm -hmm. put not after okay, simple sentences. But we, if we make a sentence compound, then if we put not mm -hmm. once in the second uh, sentence, like in compound sentence, that a giant, we put either. Of course, when we are adding another clause in a compound sentence, we are not only using not in uh, uh, the first uh, part of the sentence, but we use neither uh, in the sentence. Okay. I'm Thank sure. Uh, okay. We will we will discuss these type of uh, uh, the type of sentences and the form of sentences in the uh, next uh, uh, class. Inshallah, I have prepared it too for you. Okay? okay. That will make it more easy. Okay. Going towards the next slide. Uh, negative sentences cannot. I am not. You can see the contracted form of i am a is absent uh, and uh, uh, apostrophe is used i am not i'm not okay he she is not he's not he isn't so in very contracted form we can use he isn't so it means that he is not we have contracted we have shortened the sentence and we have written it as he isn't, she isn't, it isn't. We, you are not. We are not, we aren't. You are not, you aren't. They are not, they aren't. So here we have contracted the sentences and made it more precise uh, in the and mostly this is used in written form. Uh, Ma'am, I have uh, While we, uh, uh, apostrophe. Uh, Ma'am, we are in which situations? Yes, we can, apostrophe can contract the form. In which situations we can use uh, the contracted form? Sir, uh, when we are in writing, when we are using English in writing, we use contracted form. Because okay. while we are speaking, and talking, we are we will use the whole sentence, not the contracted form. Okay, uh, you mean there is uh, no restriction uh, to 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 pronounce the contracted or the whole form? No, no, there is no restriction. But mostly in written form, we use. But uh, there is also a, uh, a slight difference. Like if we uh, are right. Uh, writing something formal uh, we are doing formal writing we will not use contractions we, uh, we it doesn't look good and informally we can use it okay okay especially when we are in hurry we are in hurry so no no need to be hurry <laughs> but it looks good while we are writing and uh, these contracted forms uh, it makes it more precise and more easy to read okay
Okay. Then the demonstrations of uh, these demonstrative. We use that and those to demonstrate something, to indicate when the objects are far far from the speaker. For example, this is a lake. So if lake is near, we are saying that it is this, that, sorry, that is lake. When we are indicating, indicating towards the lake and the lake is near, so we say that is lake. And you can see in the picture, mountains are far. So we use those are mountains. Those are mountains. And those is used for uh, uh, plural and that is used for singular. Because here there is only one lake. So here the person says that is a lake. So the lake which is comparatively uh, sorry, comparatively uh, far. Uh, I am confused in it. When the things are far and you are pointing towards the singular thing, then you will be using that. And if you are uh, pointing towards the plural things, you will be using those. So that is a lake. It means the lake the thing which is far but it is singular so we have used that and the things which are plural far but plural we have used those here uh, okay that plus singular noun and those plus plural noun okay uh, here it is clear i think yes clear Some more demonstratives. <coughs> what is that? So, what is it? Demonstrative questions. What is that? That is an airplane. That is a. Is that a boat? No. It's it's an airplane. It is an airplane. So, you can do demonstrations, demonstrative questions by using. What is that? The answer comes that is an aeroplane. But it is used in question. Is that a bird? Then it is turned into a negative answer. No, it is not. It is an aeroplane. Airplane, sorry. What are those? They are plural. That's why the word those is used used those are books so let's let's turn turn it again a question are those books yes they are books so uh, it is uh, the answer is in positive and before that in a question, the answer was in negative these are the some examples of demonstrative but questions. Plural nouns. Noun in ending in S, X, T, H, or S, H. What forms of plural will be used? What, how plural will be formed? By adding E, S. So uh, many times we get confused that uh, where to use S and where to use ES. So there is a hint or a hint with S, C, H, or S, the noun will add ES as plural. For example, yes. That is the noun which I have. They, that also ends with es when we make it plural. Okay. When uh, okay. You are in a uh, are uh, uh, speaking or in writing use 
V instead. Yes, but V you know, instead of I words. must say yes. about words that when want to make them plural. Yes, wives. Five is okay, five. What? Yes. What are the balls? A. Yeah, A E I O U. This is this is what I was like. Yeah. Listen. F. What comes in the end of the word? Balls. F. F is a consonant. It mm -hmm. is replaced by why it is not working. Uh, I don't know why. Here, Mr. Mudasar, if you are here, the screen is the, the uh, you are not this. To discuss all these things and please will help us to more, inshallah. Uh, I think, sir, uh, the sir is there, but sir, is, sir, Jain, sir, is... sir, if you, sir, if you are listening me, the uh, not display, uh, the um, it is yes, not displaying in the screen. Mm -hmm. sir. Uh, ji, uh, sir, Raj, bhai. am I audible now? Yes, yeah, yes, I yes. get you, I, but I, I had already shared the screen. What's the problem to it? It's not displaying, sir. Yes, sir. sir, the screen yes, is not, is not displaying. displaying. Let me share it again. Reshare. Okay. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Okay. There's a beautiful rose instead of... Uh... I can only see a cat on the screen. <laughs> There's my deep... <laughs> <laughs> DP picture, na? DP. Yes, this is mine. Okay, this is mine. <clears throat> okay. now it's uh, visible or not? Yes, yes. yes it is visible. Is it? Okay, so here we are making the plurals of the nouns. So in consonants, well, Okay. S it's plural form. For example, tax, taxes, bushing. You can notice that has been replaced, but ES is added. No letter is been has been replaced, but ES B O. E O double S boss and E S is added to it, so it makes bosses. Then text nothing is replaced. Bush bushes, nothing is replaced, but E S added. While in uh, consonants, we can change Y to I, then nothing is replaced. Here we can see that ball replaced the wall. Wall Y is replaced ball. 
is not replaced by any other consonant, but it is replaced by another vowel. Here, fly, flies. So the vowel y is replaced by i and e is added. Try. Curry. Okay, have you noticed that? Yes. And most of the other s is used. Like cat. Yes. Most of the others s is used. Cat, cat, face, faces, day, day. S is used. Okay. So uh, generally when any word, any noun ends in Y is replaced by other ball that is I uh, with I uh, we use ES. Okay. Then is irregular plural. Here they are types regular. So, is there any uh, other that is okay? Then, plural regular, irregular, plural uh, now. Move to one. Irregular type. F E. Sir, we are coming towards your uh, garage. Yes, okay. my question. It is all. This is your. Mm -hmm. Ends with F E. Nouns which ends with that ends with E. How formed as plural. Change. Then we will add S. We will change F to V. The consonant is replaced by a wall. The consonant is replaced by a wall. So here you can note the difference. Uh, when wall replaces when consonant replaces S is used here in the okay. Then examples are nine live okay. So then with F, see how we be changed in plural by changing F, we then add ES. Now, this is another example. Now, here 